here's Winnie the Pooh all ready to go. So I'm going to start by drawing Winnie the Pooh's body. And I'm just going to trace over the original drawing. When Mr. Shepard designed Winnie the Pooh, he must have had Blender in mind because he has effectively designed Winnie the Pooh in a very Blender friendly way. Right, so what do I have here? I have his body. So I think I'm going to take this layer and call it the body. Now, I actually don't think it's a very good idea to, for grease pencil purposes, I don't think it's a very good idea to separate everything and start drawing everything on different layers because it can get quite complicated quite quickly. So I'm just going to draw everything on one body layer and just leave it at that for now. So I've drawn the body. Excellent. I'm going to now draw the leg. So I'll just put that in there. Good. Notice that when I'm coming to the end of each one of these points and I look at them more closely, you can see that they're not completed loops. They are open-ended loops. They're not closed loops. And when I'm drawing, if I had this selected, then those loops would have closed, but I didn't, and so they haven't. So when I go into edit mode and select these, I can press F and it will close those loops up for me. Now I can see it looks a little bit on the jaggedy side. So in sculpt mode under smooth, I can just smooth that out. Now look at that, not a very happy result in the middle. So at this point, I'd probably just redraw that little bit of it because it's not worth the hassle trying to make those individual UV points bigger. But we can, and I'll show you how to do it in edit mode. If you were to come here and get the tweak and turn on to this one, you can select each individual point and press Alt S and you can scale those up like that manually just to try to fill that gap in. Now you can do that a little bit more intuitively in sculpt mode by, um, by using this one here, the thickness brush. And when you hover over things, you can effectively scale all of the different uh, sized UVs. It can be a little bit hard and fast and there's no smoothing going on, which can be a bit annoying, but you can bring that all the way down to there and you can just kind of gently do that and do your best. It would be good if there was like a smoothing option where it tried to smooth out and make up the difference in between, but there's not. Right, so we've got that leg done, excellent. I'm not gonna draw that leg a second time, I'm gonna just duplicate it. Now just bear in mind what we said earlier about the order. Currently, this is number one, this is number two. So the body is at the back, the leg is in front of it. I'm gonna come into sculpt mode and I'm going to select a few bits and pieces. Now a quick tip when you're in sculpt mode, I use tweak and I use grab a lot. So I right clicked and I assigned shortcuts. So for tweak, I assigned the V key and for grab, I assigned the G key for grab. And it just means I can flick back and forwards between the two quite easily. Very handy, right? So I'm gonna click on this one here. I'm gonna go to G, make this slightly bigger and knock that. When you're sculpting, I genuinely advise to keep your drop off really, to keep your strength really low, just because it helps keep things nice and intuitive. So I'm just going to tweak these lines a little bit, move those in there, do a bit of that, pull that around there. Yeah, and I'm not going to go for a, a, a wonderfully, uh, in, uh, I'm not going to go for a brilliant interpretation of Winnie the Pooh here. Because I had that selected, my sculpt brush won't accidentally hit anything else. So I'll press V again now and select the body, G again, and I'll start to tweak the body. I'll just move those into place. There we go, that's fine. And I'll hold shift as well and click just to apply smoothing where I think it's overly jaggedy. Right, notice that this one isn't looped. So I'm gonna press tab and in edit mode, I'm gonna press F just to join that loop together. And then I'm gonna hold shift and smooth between them like that. I've got that same issue that I had before where because they were crossing over each other, I've ended up with this. So I'm gonna to come to thickness and I'm just gonna tweak this like that. And I'm gonna hold control and tweak these areas. Now you see that big bump there? That's gonna be very difficult to get rid of with this tool. So I'm just gonna come into edit mode, grab that particular offending point, which is here. 
and I'm going to press Alt S and just scale that up manually. There we go. That looks great. There we are. Right. Now I'm going to draw Winnie the Pooh's head. So his body is stroke number one, his leg is stroke number two, his head is now going to be stroke number three. Over to draw mode. And I'm going to do this as a complete loop like that. So completely missed there. And I'm going to bring it round and I and I think I probably will, so I'm going to just hold control and delete those bits there. I'm not going to have my eraser on dissolve. I'm going to go with point so that I get instead of uh, something less desirable. Yeah. Um, and I think I'll just draw that to a point like that. It'd be nice if that tapers off at the end, so in sculpt mode I'm going to use this again and just uh, I'll, I'll have to select it first. And then in sculpt mode, I'm just going to hold control and gently just taper that line out like that. I'll do the same with this one too, just gently taper it out. And then I think I'll use the grab tool just to pull it a little bit like that. Right, go around the whole thing now and actually pretend that I can draw. There we go. A little bit around the arch of the nose to there. Might have been a good idea to do the nose separately because as you probably spotted, I am going to do the ears separately. Right, that's fine. So his head's ready. Now let's do the ears. Back to draw mode. Now, let's just say from the get-go that we know the head is number three. We know this ear is now number four, which is great. This ear here is going to be number five, which is not good because it's supposed to be at the very back. And to do that, Blender have given us this draw at the back mode here, which basically will place something behind instead of at the front. And the best way to get that across is just to use solid fill to show. And I'll use this green color. So if I draw green there without this switched on, and I go to blue and draw blue, it'll go over the top. If we now go for red and turn back on, and draw again. That should land on top, but because I've clicked back, it goes to the back instead. So when it comes to Winnie the Pooh's ear, it will immediately be snapped to the back like that. So with back turned on, I'm going to draw that ear in like this, and that's automatically snapped to the back. Now let's look at our annotations. So before, body was one, but body has now become two because this ear is at the back now, so ear is now number one. Number two is number three. Number four. Number three is number four. Number four is number five. So there we go. It's going to happen again when we draw this arm in here, because this arm is going to be at the back, whereas this arm is going to be at the front. So let's do that now. Um, I'm going to just do a complete loop for this arm. There we go. And I'm not going to draw that arm in position because I think it's probably not a good idea to start a character off in that kind of pose. Although he has to start in some kind of pose, but for the sake of this, I don't think I will. Yeah, in edit mode, I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to shift D it. So now we have a second arm and I'm just going to place that arm there like that. Now. This arm is currently at the front, so it's on the top layer, it's number six. I'm going to right click on it, arrange, and say to Blender, send it all the way to the back. So now this arm is all the way at the back, behind the body, and behind this ear as well, actually. Okay, so I'm going to take this leg, and I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate that into place. And with the 3D cursor roughly in the right place like that, I'm going to just rotate that. If you can't see your 3D cursor, it's just up here, 3D cursor, toggle box. Right. Give that a sh I'll give that a scale, put it around there, perfect. Now the order's not going to be right because this foot was at the very front and this one is now here. But I'll leave that for a moment so that we can deal with it afterwards. Okay, now is the time to turn on the fill so that I can see roughly where things are and what order things are in. So I already put a yellow colour here in fill because Winnie the Pooh tends to be portrayed as a yellow bear. So I'll just give that a click and turn on the fill. So we can see that this arm has arrived in the right place and so is this ear so that's good that arm's also good what I'll do with this arm is I think I'll just click there and scale it down slightly like that just to give that perspective now this leg here I'm going to right click and 
arrange and send that one to the back. There we go. So that's at the back, that's at the back. So that's at the back, the hand is at the back. So that's at the back, the arm is at the back. And then these arms and leg are at the front. Excellent. Now, I've turned wireframe mode on just so I can see the wires when I'm in different modes. Um, I'm going to turn that off just for now. And um, we'll jump over to draw mode again. Now I'm going to turn my fill off again now just so I can see the character's eyes and nose. And I'll just draw his dotty eye there, put a little mouth in there. That's nice. And then I'll just draw a nose in there and I'll leave a little gap so that it looks like he's got a bit of a specular highlight on his nose. And I'll turn the fill back on now just to see how that looks. Yeah, great. I might tweak his eye a bit because I do like Winnie the Pooh and uh, I don't want to completely butcher this. So we'll go to Sculpt and just pull that around a little bit, see if I can just improve the way that's looking. I'm just going to turn that off so that I don't see all the wires and I can just appreciate the eye for what it is. And yeah, that looks good to me. Right, so that's ready to animate now. Brilliant.